Hey yo Virgo, it's your girl Carl with Heifer's Lighthouse and today I'm going to be shining some light on the rest of the month of September. So if at any point you decide to dig in what I'm doing, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to me over here on YouTube. But anyway, Virgo, I know y'all really don't know me just like I don't know y'all, but we're going to go ahead and dive into this message and hope, hopefully you guys will stick around and get to know me too. I do things a little bit differently from other readers, Virgo. Um, I pre-pulled some energy for you guys uh, just for the sake of a preview to see what we was dealing with, and we're going to pull a few more cards as we get on into this thing. So Virgo, you have knowledge is power. Divine timing. You got mama is a saint. Yes, she raised me real good. All because I wrong. Do you like I should? Don't make me get you back to hood. Don't make me get you back. I say bounce it like whoa. Bounce it like whoa. This is not a fairy tale. I already know how you like it. Take you to the mall and get you a new outfit. Girl, that's just some child slave. I said, like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I love that song. Oh, we got This Is No ordi Ordinary Love by Sade. Uh, with, these two, with these energies right here, you guys, I feel like you were dealing with an individual, right? Um, maybe this person didn't know how to conduct themselves out in public. Um, I feel like, you know, they kind of put on a show for you and everyone else. Um, maybe just for the sake of them just not knowing how to behave. Maybe they ain't had no home training. We don't know. We're going to get on into this thing. But I feel like at some point in time, you guys maybe felt like that you were just so tightly and closely connected. I feel like it was an instant connection between the two of you. But as time has went on with divine timing you have began to realize some things about this person and you have also began to realize that maybe they potentially may not be the person for you knowledge is power i feel like you have been educated i feel like you've just really been observing uh this person for what they have presented to you and I have this thing where I say people show you who they are every day. And I feel like you've really been paying attention to how this person acts and really what fuels the things that they do. And I don't think you really getting, I don't really think you're really feeling it. So Virgo, you got, guide me over, great Jehovah, lead me through this barren land, guide. <laughs> That's an old hymn my grandfather used to sing in church. And with that energy right there, you guys, I feel like, you know, you have been dealing with this situation for a while. And if this isn't a love situation, I feel like you kind of been down in the dumps about your own personal situation. And you have really been searching from some guide, for some guidance from God and your ancestors on what you should do next in your life. Let's see. I don't need you, but I want you. I feel like you were dealing with this individual and you put up with a lot of things that weren't healthy for you that you didn't have you didn't really have to uh deal with you feel me um i feel like it held you back uh from a lot of things dealing with this person you wanted them but you didn't need them it's a big difference and when you want between wanting someone and needing them whenever the need is fulfilled nine times out of ten they probably gonna get rid of you but when you want somebody like you want uh you want a uh, uh, brand new bands you want uh, a new pair of shoes because it's something that you want and it's something that you're investing in then you're going to show a little bit more uh, concern for it. you're going to take better care of it but when you need something once the need is fulfilled you can easily you know just throw it away like a used paper towel <laughs> you have march march could be significant to your situation some could have popped out this past march um i feel like from this card y'all that Maybe you just went through a major shift with yourself. Um, you know, you could have really just been seeing things come to a head in a situation with this person this past March. You feel me? Um, or even not that. Maybe you just woke up one day and just something snapped. And you was just like, you know what? I'm sick of things being this way. I'm ready for a change. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I didn't say this before. Uh, I, pre I don't really do love or spiritual messages. You feel me? I just give guidance as it comes out, y'all. So remember, I always take the energy, apply it where it goes. Let's see. You got boundaries, justice, 
boundaries, <laughs> justice, and healing. Uh, with these three cards, y'all, I feel like if you haven't separated from this person already, there is a need for you to set up some strong boundaries with this person. Um, and if this even isn't even dealing with another individual, Virgo, I feel like this has a lot to say with you just per setting up personal boundaries for yourself with dealing in pe with people in general and setting a new path for yourself, you know, um, setting a new routine for yourself, rather, doing things that are more healthy for you, you know, placing some healthy boundaries on yourself, you know, practicing self-control, basically. You have justice. Um, I feel like with this situation, you feel me, um, you did, like I told you earlier, you dealt with a lot off of this person, and whether you see them receive karma, whether, you know, they come back and apologize to you or, you know, you just up level in some way in some other area of your life, Virgo. I feel like you are going to receive justice in this situation. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> and there's healing. I feel like with this level of justice that you are getting, um, you are going to receive some healing. I feel like you are going to feel redeemed in some way, uh, Virgo. Um Separating from this person initiated opening the door for you to be able to heal. Healing is a process and it's needed. And setting up the necessary boundaries with this person or other individuals and also with yourself is going to help you to heal. Let's see, words you pulled. You pulled learning. Learning is the ability to learn from information and your experiences. You have mortality. Mortality is the knowledge of our inevitable death. You have joy. Joy is a broad category of positive emotion. And you also have play. Play is setting and achieving goals that have nothing to do with production in the pursuit of joy. Play is essential to the full development of the mind. Okay, now Virgo. Now, if you are taking the time to go in with and heal yourself, I think you are realizing a new level of joy for the rest of this month going on into October. 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 <laughs> you are also realizing, Virgo, that we only get this one experience in this one body this one time. Yeah, we might reincarnate, but you want to make the most of this experience that we're going through at this moment. You know, and you don't want to stay caught up in stagnant situations, empty situations that are not giving you anything. Like, they're not making you happy. They ain't taking you nowhere. They ain't adding to your life. None of that. And you're learning how to do this in a creative way. You're learning what exactly needs to happen for you to in order to create a better situation for yourself, Virgo. Um, yeah, you're learning what works best for you. And it's not. it doesn't necessarily have to do with other people now. You know, you've kind of, I feel like even with relationships, partnerships, work relationships, home, whatever, you are learning that is important for you to take time to yourself so you can obtain joy within yourself. You know, even just in the simple things. And with this play card, I feel like if you haven't taken some time, you know, to go out and enjoy yourself, you know, even just go outside and have some time to yourself and get a breath of fresh air. I feel like that is needed for you, Virgo. Um, if you haven't been doing it already, at the bottom it says play is essential to the full development of the mind. I feel like, you know, whatever hectic situation you were dealing with, it wasn't giving you a chance to even just put a solid thought together. You know, you was getting overly stressed out, overthinking things, worried about the what ifs, uh, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, all these things like that. And now is the time for, you know, to kind of just mellow on out, mellow out a little bit. All right, Virgo, let's see. Let's get some past, present, and future energy on you guys. Let's see what's going to come out for Virgo, past, present, future. Oh, yeah, I did appreciate for these, but I'm just shuffling them again anyway. I can't help it. It's like a habit now. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I know I said y'all don't know me, but um, just a little something about your girl. I'm 31. I've been on my spiritual journey ever since, what, 2017? Well, I say I have always considered myself, you know, a woke, <laughs> if you want to call it an awakened individual. 
um, my whole life, but I really just went on ahead and, you know, surrendered and gave in to everything in 2017, and that's whenever my life, oh, ooh, I'm gonna feel some things, but I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad to be doing this, this is what I want to do to be a service to you, and I hope you guys will leave something in the comments to let me know if what I am doing is a service to you in some shape, form, or fashion, let me get two more for Virgo, two more. All right, Virgo, let's see what you got. Future. All right. Your past energy. You have the hangman. Um, I feel like I told you earlier, I feel like you've had a <laughs> I feel like you had a complete and total change of perspective when dealing with this person or the situation overall. Uh, you took the time to go in and learn what you need to do in order to change things. In the present, you have the four of cups. All right, now, I feel like you are kind of in your head right now about what you should do next. You may be potentially overly considering what other pe how other people feel about what you are doing and the direction that you are going in. But Virgo, don't do that. This is about you. It starts with you first. There was a reason why you had this change in perspective anyway. There was a reason why, you know, you started looking at things differently. And it's because, you know, it wasn't serving you in any way. It wasn't making you happy. And there's no reason for you to be in your head about making these changes, especially if it's something that's going to benefit you. Let's see. Now, your future energy you have the moon. I feel like you are going to have some further realizations and some things the rest of this month, Virgo. Uh, I keep wanting to say Scorpio, and I think I said this in Scorpio's reading too. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Virgo. But um, I feel like this is you removing the mask of what you really want and who you're trying to be and how you're trying to do it right. But I also feel like if you are dealing with this individual, you know, who kind of just showed they ass basically whenever you took them places that was faking and fronting with you you know they really didn't want nothing with you i feel like you are going to receive some re revelations um in regards to the situation virgo let's see let's get some more on the moon who dropped one that fast who dropped two all right yeah you pulled the king of swords and you also got the seven of pentacles. Now, with these two energies now on top of the moon, I feel like you were just really putting in too much time and effort with the individual who had a smart ass mouth, thought they knew everything. Um, they just didn't know how to conduct themselves like a civilized individual. You know, it's like they would do anything to get the attention on them. And you put in too much work. Too much time, energy, effort, whatever you want to call it with this individual, Virgo. Um, it's like beating a dead horse. I feel like you tried to show this person that, you know, they needed to go about things in a different way. I think you tried to show this person a better way of living just all together. And it's like they ain't know no other way besides that. And they just kept taking and taking and taking from you in this situation. And I feel like a lot of the taking came in because you wasn't opening your mouth and, you know, telling them, them up, telling them otherwise, Virgo. Let's see. Let's get some more on the hanged man. Let's see. There's too many. Too many. Let's see. Hang man. Let me get a couple on the hang man. Ooh. Hmm. One more. All right, there's three. All right, you got the Six of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune uh, over the Hangman. Now, Virgo, I feel like this is you just realizing you could just do way better off without this individual. Again, I feel like you were hoping for the best. You wanted to carry this person along the way with you, you know, in whatever direction you headed, right? Whatever you building in your life. But you just realizing that now it's time for you to move on. You know, leave whatever they did in the past and move forward head first. You know, don't look back. 
Nobody on this card is looking back. <laughs> the dragon ain't looking back. The little people in the front, auto driver, everybody's going head first, head first and moving on to something bigger and better. They're moving on to Atlanta opportunity. You know, um, a lot of times we can get involved in situations with people, you know, and we are too overly considered of their needs and desires. And we totally dismiss our own. And it keeps us in a place because we're trying to make other people happy and do things their way. Uh, I say this all the time. What you eat don't make me shit. And whoever you were dealing with, Virgo, whatever they were trying to feed you, whatever they were trying to force feed down your throat was going to be detrimental to your journey, boo. Uh, if you haven't separated yourself from this individual, if you know that you see that there is no more potential for the situation, I suggest, I think, we all think, you ought to just move the heck out. So, Virgo, let's get three oracles for you, boo. Let's see what they're talking about. Three oracles for the Virgo. Yeah, I can't shuffle a bit more than the man in the moon, so just bear with your girl. We'll see what comes out. Let's see. That's too many. That's too many. I seen freedom at the bottom of me. I feel like you are either, you already have, or you are getting ready to release yourself from this person, Virgo. <laughs> Let's see. You have shine your light. I feel like, Virgo, whenever you were dealing with this individual, right, you were not able to shine your light the way that you normally would. And I feel like you are beginning to realize how much brighter your light shines without being around this person. And you are surrendering to the truth of what really has to happen. I think the message is very clear, Virgo. And once you surrender to what needs to happen in this situation, of course, you are going to come in alignment with the happiness that you are seeking. That, you know, just that. Just that overall feeling of just joy when you wake up in the morning. Happy to see the sunlight shine through the blinds instead of wanting to live in the darkness because you're depressed and confused and don't know which direction to go in. So Virgo, I hope you enjoyed that. Until I see you next time. Oh yeah. And if you decide to dig in what I'm doing, go ahead and follow me on TikTok and like, share, and subscribe to me over here on YouTube. I love y'all. I thank you. Until I see you next time. Bye-bye.